Hello, this is GabbyZoo, and uh, today I will show you how to import Sponge into IntelliJ. Since the previous video for the same tutorial is no longer applicable due to updates to both Sponge and IntelliJ. To get started, we're going to copy our git clone URL from the repo. I'm going to git clone recursive paste and then we will launch IntelliJ then we're going to import project we're going to use the build gradle from sponge go ahead and click OK and this may take anywhere from 30 seconds to a couple of minutes or more. Right, so we've managed to open up our workspace and get Sponge imported into IntelliJ. And Gradle recognizes that the project is composed of both Sponge Common and Sponge Common Sponge API. And before we actually get anywhere, we have to tell Gradle to set up Decomp Workspace. And this may take anywhere from a couple of minutes, five minutes, to sometimes 20 minutes, depending on the power of your computer. Right, so my desktop took about six minutes and 35 seconds to set up Decomp Workspace. After that is done, we need to tell Gradle to refresh all projects so that the dependencies can be correctly resolved for the decompiled Minecraft sources for both Sponge Common and Sponge. So this may take uh, anywhere from 30 seconds to a few minutes. So the dependencies have been resolved and we can actually see them from the dirty artifacts the, for example their forge sort forge circ and also in sponge common the um, sponge common sources now the difference is that sponge common does not rely on forge in fact it is just a decompiled version of the minecraft um, binary so that sponge common can be both applied to both sponge vanilla and sponge so now we can actively search around our um, project files and anything in common we can also see um, here for example the data utilities And that's that. Thank you for watching.